Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 20th of February. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. I'm going to give you the standout features of this week to look out for. Please stay with me. I will dive deep to give you each of the 12 signs from Aries through to Pisces. But this section of the video gives you a lot of perspective of what you can expect. Now, as this week begins, Venus makes its way into Aries, a sign it's said to be detrimented in. But I actually find when I work with my clients on a one-to-one -one basis, people with Venus in Aries or the first house often have a thrust about what they want to go for. So I think it can actually be very positive. And there are some very exciting conjunctions come in with Venus involved in the weeks to come. So stay with me for those. But of course, Monday also sees the new moon in Pisces. Pisces energy is very much about the spiritual dimension. It can be about healing. It can also be about just withdrawing a little bit to reflect on what the last year has meant for us all, preparing us for when the sun makes its way into the sign of Aries in a month's time with the spring equinox. But this particular new moon is combining with Saturn late located in the sign of Aquarius. So we have a disassociate conjunction. And I feel that this is asking us all over the next couple of years to take our mental and emotional welfare a lot more seriously when, than we've been inclined to do in the past. Now there is a sparkling alliance between Mercury and Mars this week, which could prime up some very positive conversations, very lively encounters. But Mercury then goes on to tangle with Uranus. You know that old saying about keeping business and pleasure apart? I think it's something you should be mindful of later this week. Not least because it may not be in an actual business situation that you find yourself and someone you're fond of or a friend a chaffing against each other around a financial issue, perhaps around a possession, or perhaps just around differing values. So there could be some electric and rather awkward energy which brings the curtain down on this week. Now, if you're a returning viewer to this channel, thank you so much for joining me once more. If you're new here, it's great to have you with us. Please comment. I interact with all comments. This is very much a community. Also, please like and subscribe. And if you would like to ascend above this Zodiac broadcast and understand what more serious astrology can help you to plan and execute your passions and desires more effectively, please check out below my special Life Roadmap Report. This helps you to get a much more intimate understanding of some of the key aspects that have worked into your situation throughout your life. In my special package of 30% off, you can also get your 12 month personal forecast, totally unique to you. These reports are just for you individually. Please see the link below for more. So Pisces, your week commencing the 20th of February forecast begins with Venus arriving in the sign of Aries. For you, this is house two and Venus governs house two through its rulership of the sign of Taurus. You could see an uptick in your financial situation or even just how you feel about yourself. Your own self-worth could be enlivened by that change. The new moon, of course, is an opportunity to spark new strands in your situation or to invigorate ongoing ones that are really important to you. Now, I know that Saturn does just remain in your 12th house. So any concerns, anxieties or worries that you may have could inhibit your energy and your progress. So it is going to be important to maximize your self-belief. It's just that I think you could be rather sensitive to the energy around you. We're all affected by the new cycle. You know, some of the things we're reading about are very, very uh, distressing. So uh, the fact that Uranus and Mercury are in a clash later this week, I would suggest says that if you can limit your exposure to unnecessary stimulation, 
you know, whether it is that very well-known uh, interface that we all use that begins with F. Um, these are the kind of energies that can drag you down a little bit if they deflect you from your main purpose. And your main purpose should be that on concentrating on the things that really, really inspire you and not being distracted. But if you are still in the process of uh, changing where you live or reviewing where you live or even potentially considering moving I think you can feel that things are picking up which could be very gratifying indeed it's been a real pleasure being with you Pisces thank you so much for joining me please like comment or subscribe